the ultimate guide to dropshipping during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. These are two of the world's biggest online sell events which occur during Q4. We have them both right around the corner. Everybody that's in the e-commerce business is anticipating these moments right here that we're about to enter. And if you haven't ever done it before, if this is your first year in dropshipping, you're about to be overwhelmed by sales and by profiting but you need to prepare your stores the right way, which is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So just watch this quick intro and let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content producer and I've also been dropshipping for the last four years. And just before we begin, I'd like to remind you guys to like this video because it really helps out our channel. Share this video so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing and profitable world of dropshipping. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can always stay updated on cool and valuable videos like this one. We do them a lot and we really want to help you guys on your journey to success. So let's begin talking about Black Friday and Cyber Monday, what we need to do with our dropshipping stores to really make a killing. And just to help you guys understand exactly what goes on around this time, let's take a look at this graph by Statista. And in this graph, you can see the total revenue in the United States during Thanksgiving weekend in the last three years. And why is it called Thanksgiving weekend? Because first you have Thanksgiving on Thursday, November 26th. Then you have Black Friday on Friday, November 27th. And right after the weekend, you have your Cyber Monday on Monday, November 30th. The first line represents 2017. The second line represents 2018. And the third line represents 2019. So as you can tell, each year there is an increase in the total revenue when it comes to online shopping in the United States for each special event. And this year, 2020, is going to be obviously much bigger because we had the whole mess with the coronavirus and the whole wave of new online shoppers that joined this year because of it. And a lot of people are still in quarantine because we're still in the peak of the coronavirus. It doesn't look like it's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. So we're just going to have to live with it. We're going to have to deal with it. But for e-commerce, it's definitely a good thing. Anybody who's been doing dropshipping this year knows exactly what I'm talking about. And it's about to get much bigger and much better during these special events. So without further ado, let's get to it. For those of you wondering exactly what Black Friday is and why we even celebrate it, a few years ago, retailers just wanted to get rid of as much inventory as possible before the start of the new year so they can start a new year with fresh new inventory. So what they did was they simply created a whole bunch of discounts and sales on their physical storefront stores, many times selling under cost or at cost prices or at cost plus just a few percent of profit in order to move as many boxes out of their stores and start with new stock for the new year. The e-commerce world quickly saw how much this was raking in and wanted in on the action too. So Black Friday sales started becoming a thing all over the internet too for online shoppers. And Cyber Monday was created quickly after that to just create another sales event to get rid of more inventory, make more sales and profit, even if we're profiting less because we have to create more discounts to rake in more sales. It's worth it in the long run because the more sales gives us more profits to our pockets. So that's the history behind Black Friday and Cyber Monday and why you should take advantage of them. Now, the first thing that you need to do in order to prepare your stores for these two special events, regardless whether your selling platform is eBay or Shopify, what you need to do first is get your own Black Friday and Cyber Monday store template. And the reason for that, while it should be obvious, is when the customers enter your store, they need to have the visualization effect of Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. They need to know that you are participating in the huge discounts and sell events for this particular customer. If they don't see that your stores are broadcasting Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales and deals, they will be much less likely to buy from your store because this is exactly what they're looking for during these days. So if you're using AutoDS as your dropshipping tool, you already have free templates which you can use for these special events. But if you want to be truly unique and truly stand out, you really need to have your own unique templates. 
So if you're a graphic designer and you know exactly the pixels and resolutions that you need to use, go ahead and go for it. But most people, what can we do, are not graphic designers. I am not a graphic designer. And when I need help with these things, I just head over to 5rr.com. There I can find freelancers who can do this work for me for just a few bucks. Sometimes it can be more expensive if you want the quality to be higher. So it really depends on you. But this is how you can really be unique. And Google search engine will also see that your store doesn't look like any other store. You're not using the same photos and logos. And they will give you better SEO search engine optimization ranking for your stores. So let's just head over to 5rr.com. And over here you can write eBay template. And at the same time, if you're using Shopify, same thing, just write Shopify template. And in both ways, you're going to get your results. So here, for example, on eBay, you have people starting at 10 bucks, $10, $40, $35, $20. You have all of your price ranges, same thing for Shopify. So all you need to do is just do a little bit of research, read the reviews that each freelancer has and go with the one that looks the best to you, send them a few messages and see exactly what they can do for you. This is one of the best and cheapest ways to get professional templates for your eBay or Shopify listings. So get in touch with the freelancer, tell them that you're looking for Black Friday templates, tell them which selling platform you're using, whether eBay or Shopify, and they'll know exactly what they need to do. You can even go with a few revisions until they give you the exact product that you want for your stores regarding the template. So the first thing that you guys need to do is get your template ready so that your customers will know that Black Friday and Cyber Monday is happening in your store too. Another thing that you guys can do is use this cool site called postermywall.com. This is an amazing site where you can create your own images and videos and GIFs and landing pages and whatever you want for your store to really make it unique and make it yours with all of the ready-made templates as you can see here. Just choose whatever topic you're looking for. So I wrote Black Friday and here's what I got. So if you just click on any one of them, for example, here's a Cyber Monday. So if you just click on any one of them, you'll be taken to the editor page. Here it's easy to just simply do whatever you want. Like you can move this anywhere else that you want. You can rotate it, make it smaller, bigger. You can change the colors. You can do so many things. I'm obviously not going to get into it, but here is how you can totally, totally be unique with the stuff that you have on your site. The site obviously has a membership fee. I think it's around $30 for every quarter or less if you're making an annual subscription. But if you really want to take it one step further, check out this website called postermywall.com. You're going to be totally unique and not spend so much time doing so. So get your template. This is the first step that you need in order to stand out and broadcast that you are also going to be giving out all kinds of discounts for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and rake in those sales along the way. Great, now that we're done with the templates, we can move on to method number two of preparing your stores for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And method number two consists of tagging your products. You need to tag each and every one of your products in your stores. And the reason for that is once you tag your products with a related tag, it will make it much easier to analyze its performance in the future and know exactly which ones performed well so that the next year when you're going to have the same event, you'll know exactly which items are going to go well and you can easily multiply your success this way. Let's see really quick for you beginners how simple it is to tag your products on AutoDS. All you have to do is head over to your active listings highlight the products that you want to add a tag to. So let's say we want to associate these five products with Black Friday. So we're going to highlight them like we did here. Then we're going to click on bulk change and then you're going to click on change tag and associate it with the tag that you want. If it doesn't exist, just type it out and it'll create the new tag. For example, Black Friday. So you add the Black Friday tag and save your changes. Right after that, all you have to do is go to filter and then you want to filter all of the product tags that have Cyber Monday, for example. And then it's going to show you all of the products that you tagged Cyber Monday with. So when Cyber Monday or Black Friday are over, this is exactly what you need to do to see exactly how those products performed. You can delete the ones that didn't perform well. You can keep the ones that did perform well because Cyber Monday and Black Friday are not going at a specific niche. So it's not like Christmas where you upload Christmas products and then when Christmas is over, there's no reason to keep them in your store but you will save them under the Christmas tag in order to save all of the best products that performed well and keep them for next year. But anyway, this is how the tags work. 
you have to tag each and every one of your products so it will be much better to organize and analyze them for future optimization and more profiting. Okay, so you got your store template and now your store is looking professional and relevant. You tagged your products so it'll be easier to optimize and analyze the performance for the future. Now it's time to move on to method number three and this is just a few words of advice and those few words of advice are don't get too greedy on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. On one hand, yes, you're going to be making a lot more sales during these two special events. But on the other hand, your competitors are all dropping their prices. And usually my advice is never to drop prices. I don't like to see people making only 5, 8 or 10% profit on their sales. In dropshipping, you can make much more than that. But during these two special events, you really need to drop your prices because that's what your competitors are doing. And that's what the consumer is looking for. They're looking for discounts. They're looking for in-your-face promos. Buy it now before it's too late. And that's exactly what they want. So you do have to see what your competitors are doing. If you're dropshipping on eBay, search your product's title and see what the price ranges are for this title and how many sales it has. And if you're dropshipping on Shopify, then simply search your product's titles on Google and see other sites that are also selling this product and how much they're selling it for. You have to see what your competitors are doing during this time. You want to be cheaper than them and provide more value so that the customers will end up buying from you and not from them. If you're going to be too greedy during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, the consumers are going to be able to see that this is not really such a good deal and they're going to miss out the opportunity of buying from your store. So don't get too greedy. Do get competitive. I don't want to talk too much into numbers, exactly how much you should be profiting because each niche has its own competition and its own price range and profit margins. But you should work around the 10% profit margin on an average. Once again, it's hard to pinpoint the exact number. Don't go below that because then the sales will not be worth it. Don't go way too much above it because you want to rake in the sales during these two special events. So don't get too greedy during Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Okay, now we can move on to step number four for how to prepare your stores for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And step number four is simply knowing how to create discounts on eBay and Shopify for your customers to see because once again, Cyber Monday and Black Friday are all about in your face promotions, buy it now. So once again, I wanna remind you guys, everything that I'm talking about in this video is on the blog right below. We have a lot of information over there. I'm also trying to add in more value into the videos by adding more information that doesn't exist below. But it's super recommended to also watch the video and also read the blog below. That way your head is going to be filled with all of the relevant information. Now back to the discounts. So on eBay, you can create volume price discounts on every listing if you just go inside and edit them you can check in the volume pricing box that looks like this so you can configure exactly how much of a discount you want to give by two and save five percent by three and save ten percent you can change the percentage of each one so that's how you do it on ebay on shopify on the left menu you'll see the discounts button click on that and then you can create your automatic discounts give it a name configure the type of discount that you're going to give and save that so that's how you can create automatic discounts on ebay and on shopify it's very very easy they're both built in you don't have to download any specific applications or extensions in order to get this to work this method really works and it's highly recommended for black friday and cyber monday because this is what it's all about it's going to give them the discounts that they need to see and this is going to help make that sales conversion. Another way to do it back to you eBay sellers is by going to the seller hub on eBay and clicking on listings and then you'll be able to see send offers eligible. This is all of the customers that you can send offers to. Let me show you exactly what it looks like real quick. So you got your active listings. You're going to click on send offers and then it'll show you all of the listings that you have watchers on that people are watching your listings and then you can send messages to those people saying hey guys come get this extra discount so here's what it's going to look like choose all of the listings that are eligible and then click on send offers here you can choose the amount of discount that you want to give them so let's say we want to give them a 10 percent discount and then we're going to write a specialized message here's your chance to get this item on a special one-time deal for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Create the message however way you want. You should allow them to send counter offers. So if one customer is going to say, hey, you know what, 10% sounds good, but if you give me 12%, then I'm going to buy it now. 
and then you're going to agree to that if you're going to have enough profit and that's how you close another sale so once you make this offer all of the items here on the right side just click on send offers and ebay is going to send this offer to all of your watchers what's going to happen next is you're going to wake up the next morning to a lot more sales so this is one of the things that really help generate more sales on ebay you can do the same thing on shopify if you have your email campaign so if you have enough email subscribers on shopify you can send them an email with your promotions it works pretty much the same as what i just showed you on ebay even though on ebay you also have email campaigns too so let's get into that right now and see how that works so after you're done using all of the integrated features to create discounts for your customers the next thing that you need to know is email marketing email marketing is when you have a large database of emails from your subscribers and then what you simply do is you send them emails about all kinds of cool discounts that are happening in your stores so the hard part is obtaining a whole bunch of email addresses it works both for ebay and shopify they both have their own built-in templates for having customers enter their email addresses only on shopify it's going to be a little bit easier because you can add more value you can tell the customer that he's going to get some kind of a discount if he leaves his email address so that makes it a lot easier for customers to leave their email addresses let's see exactly how this method works so on shopify you can use special apps like personal discount personal discount will simply tell the customer hey if you leave your email address we're going to send you a discount to your email address a discount code some promo code you're going to configure whatever promo code you want to give them and what kind of a discount and they're going to get it to their mail so this is exactly what it looks like subscribe to get a unique discount code you're going to write your email address this is my mail so the customer is going to leave his email address because he wants to get the discount he's going to click on subscribe and he's going to get the promo code to his email that way he can't write a fake email because he wants that promo code and then you're going to have him as a subscriber once you have two to three hundred subscribers you can start running email campaigns to your customers telling them hey guys we got this discount going on right now we got black friday we got cyber monday and so forth so this is the importance of having an email database it's one of the oldest methods to advertise to your customers and it's super super effective today that's why most of the biggest companies in the world use this method and not just the biggest companies in the world and if you don't want to download any special apps you really don't have to shopify has its own integrated feature to collect email addresses they just won't send any promo codes along the way and ebay has that integrated feature too if you'll head to the my ebay marketing tools and email marketing you can also create your own subscriber list so that people can enter their email addresses in your store and sign up for your newsletter so creating an email campaign is one of the most important methods to market your stores and this is really something that you want to do for black friday and cyber monday and any other special location that you'll have coming up by the way another quick tip for all of you people who are drop shipping on shopify so when you're using shopify you can use the app store to download a whole bunch of apps that can help you give discounts to your customers just don't make it look too spammy use only one each time for example you can use that spin the wheel if you've ever seen it this is what it looks like so you know when you enter a website and then it tells you hey you can win this exclusive prize just leave your email and your name and spin the wheel so this way you're also getting an email subscriber like we just talked about and he's going to get a discount after spinning the wheel which makes the customer feel like he actually has control of what he's about to win so this is another very creative method and if you just go to the shopify app store and write the word discount you're going to see a whole bunch of apps that can help you give all kinds of creative discounts and promotions for cyber monday and black friday so that's another quick tip for all of you people using shopify now i want to move on to the next section after we talked about email marketing now we're going to talk about the sixth method which is very very essential for preparing your stores for black monday and cyber monday and this method is simply knowing how to conduct thorough product research on your stores for all of the products that you're using now we can't get too much into product research in this section i highly encourage you to just read the blog below we have a link which will take you to one of our blogs teaching you how to conduct very good and professional product research but in any case i'm going to recommend some good products that you guys need for black friday and cyber monday in just a couple of minutes but in any case you still need to know how to conduct product research so if you guys don't know how to do it yet i can't get into it now too much but basically you have to know which products you can sell you have to know which products are trending you have to know around what prices and what profit margins you can make from them to see if they're worth it or not you need to know how to multiply your success by selling more products similar to those that are already going well for you so there's a whole bunch of things that you need to learn regarding product research there's so many different ways to go about it and 
can do it. But remember, the more work you put on product research, the better your results are going to be, the more sales you're going to be able to close on your shop, and the more profits you're going to make at the end of the month. It's all about product research. It's one of the most crucial things that you have to get into your mind and work hard on to understand exactly how you can get the results that you need. But to zip through it really quick, one of the ways is to simply snipe other people who are selling well and profitable so you can just simply take the items that they're selling and sell them yourself sell similar products this is always one of the best ways to do it and copy the titles and make small changes small unique changes so that the title will be yours whether you're on ebay or shopify it really doesn't matter don't copy and paste anyone else's work be creative take what works and multiply it on your store so that you will have the same amount of success and even more another way to do it is to use the AutoDS finder the AutoDS Finder is for people who don't have time for product research. So when you're using the AutoDS Finder, the system will simply search the best items for you. Let me just show you instead of just talking about it. So all you have to do is click on AutoDS Finder here on the left side. Once it loads up, make sure you have enough AutoDS credits here on top. And then all you have to do is simply tell AutoDS what kind of products you want them to find and upload to your store for you. And this is simply going to make everything a lot easier because you don't have to spend any time on product research and you can get the products added to your store without any effort on your side. This is a very, very good way to see exactly what products are going well, what products are trending and which products you need to research more and upload all kinds of similar products to them. So here you can choose, for example, a product that sold at least three times in a month, a product that sold at least five times in a month, or a product that sold at least eight times in a month, or a product with a high chance of coupons on Amazon. Everybody loves to use products that have coupons on them because you're just gonna pay a lower price and profit more. So first you need to choose your source site, where you want to grab these hot selling items from, where you want AutoDS to search for them. So we're gonna go with Amazon US, and let's say we wanna upload 100 products that sold at least eight times in the last month click on upload it then all you have to do is simply configure your upload settings and then you can save the product upload it to your store you can create a schedule upload and schedule it for a later date and time or you can create a recurring upload which means the system will make the same search and uploads on every day on every set hour which you configured and you can turn that off anytime but this is a very good method if you don't have time and you just want the whole automation process to continue day after day optimizing and building your store so that's another way to go about product research i recommend to also use the AutoDS finder to find good and hot selling products and now let's talk about something that you guys have been waiting for which products should you upload for Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Now, as I explained earlier, there is no specific niche for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You just need to snatch good trending products that have good deals, make them even better deals, make them even more valuable to the customers, and then the customers will simply go and buy them. So the first product line that I would like to recommend to add to your stores for Cyber Monday and Black Friday are couch covers. Couch covers have been very trendy this year. They have been on the rise. More people are at home and more people are decorating their homes because of COVID-19. People have pets in their houses. They want everything to look cleaner. They want to refresh and make new looks in their houses. So couch covers, we found out that this one is super trending in sales this year. And this is why we would like to recommend you to add them to your stores. Couch covers is number one on the list of trending products for this year. The second product that I would like to recommend that you add to your stores for Black Friday and Cyber Monday is minimalist jewelry. So there's jewelry, which is a very, very general niche. And if you're going to go into that, there's millions of products and you'll never know which ones are going to sell. But minimalist jewelry is a very, very delicate and elegant piece of jewelry. It's a new niche that also started becoming very hot and trendy this year. So add them to your Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. People usually buy them as gifts. And for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, this is a perfect match for things that people buy. Add minimalist jewelry because people once again love to buy jewelry during these special events. The third product line that I recommend to add to your stores is athleisure because a lot of people are sitting at home during COVID-19. Home fitness has turned into one of the biggest things that are happening today in every household. People want to take care of their health. They're not going to the gym anymore. They're not walking enough. They're not running or jogging. And a lot of newcomers are also joining the home fitness niche 
this year because they're stuck at home and they just want to you know move a little bit and get the blood running it also affected me personally so athleisure is everything around sports clothes shirts pants socks anything that you can think of they come in different varieties there's a whole bunch of them so you're gonna have to micro niche it a little bit put about 10 or 15 percent of the items in your shop as athleisure products and you'll notice the rise in sales in those two the fourth product line that I recommend to add to your stores are portable car and vacuum cleaners. Once again, people are cleaning their houses a lot more this year because they're just simply spending a lot more time at home. And while you're home, you want it to be comfortable. You want it to look nice. So vacuum cleaners have been a rising trend this year and portable ones at that. People usually don't buy those big heavy vacuums anymore. It's either portable car vacuum cleaners or all kinds of different types of those iRobots. I have one at my house too. I love it. So portable home vacuum cleaners is one of the biggest trending products that we also have this year. So make sure to add them to your stores too. By the way, you can see all of the Google trends and all of the rising interests in the blog below. I'm just zipping through it. But you can be sure that we did enough research before we came out with these results. So these are all very good general niches that you need to micro down a little bit and get to the hot products. But these products are going to be your hot sellers for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And the fifth product line that I would like to recommend to add to your stores are baby nail trimmers. So the general niche would be nail trimmers and the micro niche would be baby nail trimmers. And this has also been very, very trendy this year. This is why you need to add them to your stores too. Now, once you have a small list of five product lines that I recommended for you guys to upload, you need to also search for products that are similar to them and also explore new niches and new product categories. I just want you guys to have a strong base so that you can already start selling and profiting for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, another thing that I would like to talk about is how you can add all of these products to your stores, especially for you eBay users who want to upload as many listings as possible but usually Shopify store owners don't upload 30,000 products like we do on eBay but this method is going to help save a whole bunch of time doing so all you have to do is grab the auto DS extension and then you can grab as many products as you want and upload them in just one click to your store let's see how easy that is so let's just head over to Amazon and look for the last thing that we searched for, the last thing that we talked about, baby nail trimmers. Okay, so we got the baby nail trimmers and we see that it's trending. We see that a lot of people are buying them. You can tell by the reviews over here just how popular this product is. So all you have to do is activate the extension. If you don't have it, just search for AutoDS Chrome extension on Google and you will find it. There's also the link in the full article below this video. So all you have to do is activate the extension. Once it's activated, you'll see the auto DS circle on the bottom right of your screen as you can see it here. So I just deleted the last batch that I ran. So now all you have to do is stand at a product page like this one. And instead of adding them one by one, all you have to do is click on the extract button over here. And as you see, all of the product IDs move from the supplier to the auto DS Chrome extension. So 51 products were grabbed over here and I want to add all of those 51 products to my stores. So I'm just going to click on export as CSV. And as you can see, it downloaded a CSV file onto my computer. Now I'm just going to head over to AutoDS. This is the new screen for the Shopify users. You guys know what I'm talking about. So click on uploader, then click on bulk upload. Click on upload bulk from CSV. Get that last file that you uploaded. Here it is. And then just set your regular upload settings. And once again, save the product or you can schedule upload for a later date and time. I don't have the button over here because it's just a demo account, but on your account, you will see it. And so that's how simple it is. Once you save your changes and choose to upload now or at a later date and time, either way, I just added all of those products that you saw on Amazon in just one click of a button. So that's how easy it is. You can grab tens to hundreds to thousands of products at once. And it's simply that simple. Okay, guys, this pretty much sums up how you can all prepare your dropshipping stores for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I really hope that you found this video super informational for all of you newcomers 
Welcome to the dropshipping family. I hope that you're going to have a very profitable journey up ahead. And for all of you advanced and expert dropshippers, I hope that you also found this video super informational. Please don't forget to like this video because it really helps out our channel. Share this video so that your friends and family can also learn about the wonderful and wild world of dropshipping. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can always stay updated on very valuable and informational videos like this one. So until the next time, guys, happy profiting. Go make your dollars or shekels or euros or pounds or whatever currency you are working with. Happy profiting. See you in the next video. Bye bye.